Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel. XRP hit 53 cents today. This against a backdrop that's supposed to be very scary because, as I'm sure most of you have heard by now, yesterday is announced that the CFTC is suing cryptocurrency exchange Binance, which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange on the entire damn planet. So understandably, that did spook markets. Uh, but still, XRP absolutely climbing. Um, so I'm going to share with you some of the specifics surrounding that. And also, Flare, just out of nowhere, popped. Uh, up, up, uh, I checked earlier today, anyway. And, and at that time, Flare was up 25%. And I'll explain the reasons why there actually are good reasons for that one. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say, right? I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. As I record this video, XRP is currently at 52 cents. Uh, you got Bitcoin at $27,324. And, you know, frankly, it shouldn't be surprising that, uh, you know, Bitcoin isn't just ramming, <laughs> ramming upwards endlessly given this current environment. But it is that much more fun seeing that XRP has been. Uh, you've got uh, the market cap of the asset class at one6 trillion dollars in Bitcoin dominance at 45.22%. Now, um, XRP, if you look over the last 30 days, up 36.81%. Over the last 90 days, it's up 46.1%. And, you know, a lot of analysts have been calling for this move that we've been seeing today. You know, this move uh, would actually be in the range, you know, roughly call it 50 to 60 cents. And we may be seeing 60 cents shortly. It's certainly quite plausible. A lot of analysts have been uh, sharing their own technical analysis in terms of why they think that's going to be happening. But I think it's also quite obvious something that's not held, or not hurting rather is that it's expected that the SECV Ripple case is about to conclude. It could end any day now, literally today, literally tomorrow, but we could get the news. And it's anticipated by most, I think it's fair to say, that it's going to be a very positive outcome for XRP itself, even if Ripple technically loses, or even if it just loses, you know, certain aspects, um, which could happen. But as, as long as there's regulatory clarity for XRP, obviously everything's going to be just fine, and that's what most people are expecting. Um, here you have the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 57 out of 100, so still uh, the market's in greed despite all the scary news that happened yesterday. Uh, and take a look at this. The, the chart in the middle of your screen here is the number of new XRP Ledger accounts activated daily. And uh, I just had the chart. I modified it, so it's just going back to March 1st of this year. But look at this. I mean, today, March 28th, 2,886 new accounts created. Now, at the beginning of the month, it was more normal to see closer to, call it 1,000 to maybe 1,100 new accounts per day. Here, practically tripled that number. Look, again, it's it's not that surprising. People have placed their bets. I've certainly placed mine. I'm anticipating XRP is going to, uh, you know, blast off as soon as we get regulatory clarity for it. I will not be surprised to see it at a new all-time high at some point. I just don't pretend to know when, uh, but I place my bet. I think that it's just a matter of time, and I do think that it's coming. Um, and here you have Flare. Um, at the time we're recording this, so it's at uh, 4.1 cents. It hit a high of 4.4 cents, though. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about... <laughs> purchasing a ton of it when it was at about three cents. I mean, I I mentioned this in one other video, but uh, I guess it has been, maybe it's been eight days since I purchased it, I think, it, it's seven or eight days. But anyway, when I purchased it, that was literally one of the very largest cryptocurrency purchases I ever made in my entire life. And since you can't buy a bottom, I was like, well, it's probably going to go down. And it certainly has not to this point anyway, but I never assume I'm going to buy the bottom and, and maybe it does go lower than where I bought it. But uh, right now I'm looking like a, like a goddamn genius, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I look, and, and look, people give a crap because it's got bad tokenomics, this or that, and that's an opinion. And fair enough, it's a fair enough critique, honestly. But, uh, you know, I just, I think with the way that things are structured, you know, you're incentivized to continue holding Flare because that's how you get f free Flare. It's not just being airdropped to a bunch of XRP holders, as was initially promised. Uh, it's changed. And now anybody can get these rewards. And so who's going to be most likely to delegate their flare? Those that have you know, long-term interest in the plan. Not just a bunch of people that happen to receive it don't have interest and then drop it. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Now, um, but again, like I said earlier today, it was up 25% over the previous 24 hours. Now it's just up 8.64% since times passed. But um, man, uh, actually I've got something here. Yeah, so here's, here's a tweet from my fellow XRP YouTuber, Crypto Eddie. Uh, she shared the, uh, the screen grab of, of Flare's price. Looks like it's from CoinMarketCap at 4.2 cents uh, earlier this morning. And she tweeted out the following, because there actually is a good reason for the pop, as it turns out, in price. 
And she wrote, Coinbase Twitter announced Flare is on listing roadmap. Haven't seen a Coinbase pump in ages. Masari 2021 research showed Coinbase listing has highest impact on price among exchange listings with the average five-day return of 29%. This seems to be the roadmap pump. So that's pretty cool. So the, the good news there on top of that is um, that makes me extra confident in that indeed Coinbase will follow through with what they promise, which is distributing flair to uh, the XRP holders who are owed it. Uh, there's, I, I give, there's no excuse for it taking as long as it has, but they say it's going to be uh, taken care of by the end of second quarter this year. So, okay, well, we have no choice but to give them time. I am not happy with them. I am. I, I do not find it at all reasonable. I don't think it's okay that, uh, that they also haven't handed out the Songbird tokens. But the positive news, despite all of that being the case, is that they're going to be trading Flare. So very happy to see this. And that's why, like, even though I, I fully understand that, uh, you know, Flare could go way below where I, I purchased it about a week ago. I, it, just, it totally could. Absolutely. Maybe it drops 90%. Some are calling for that. Even the blockchain backer was talking about the potential for that happen. And I don't think that's crazy. It actually could happen. But if it happens, and I don't make price predictions, but even if it happens, what I'm counting on is that demand for crypto in general is going to substantially outpace any potential downward, um, you know, price action in terms of what, what, what might cause it to drift in that direction. I think you're going to have way more people in crypto. And eventually, all these these flare drops, as they're called, are going to end. You know, in three years, that we'll have the last one. What do you think happens after that, 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 even if you want to call it selling pressure? I'm not really necessarily convinced it is. I need more data points. I, I could be persuaded, but I don't see it now. But what happens when that, you know, supposed sell pressure ceases? And more people are jumping into crypto. So that's why for me, it's just like, I'm happy to wait. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And maybe it goes to zero, fine. But I treat all my crypto like that. So it's like, mm. uh, And then there's this headline from the Crypto Basic. XRP defies Binance lawsuit stands green in top 10 targeting 50 cents. XRP defies the bearish turbulence observed within the market due to the CFTC lawsuit against Binance. While most crypto assets are witnessing massive losses, XRP is up 25% in the past seven days as its goal to reclaim 50 cents remains on track. Yeah, now obviously it has passed that. Uh, the persistent rally has been fueled by sustained optimism in the legal case between Ripple and the SEC. On Monday, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission officially filed charges against Binance CEO CZ and three other Binance-affiliated entities for violating commodities regulations and the evasion of compliance controls to enforce control the CFTC branded assets such as Bitcoin, ETH, Litecoin, USDT, and BUSD as commodities. And by the way, I think that, um, I was looking at Litecoin earlier. Let me check it again. I think it's number 15 in market cap here. It did seem to, I think, let me check it. We'll do a seven-day chart here. Yeah, look. <laughs> so not surprisingly, it did get a little bit of a bump. Uh, it's it's $89.50 at the time that I'm recording this. And by the way, I do hold Litecoin. Not that I'm excited about it, but it's the second cryptocurrency I ever purchased back on November 10th of 2017, and I still hold it because I'm just super long-term when it comes to everything crypto. That's just uh, it's just my personal approach to all this. But uh, it's, it's interesting because you have this dynamic now where you've got uh, the SEC kind of heading off against the... Uh, the SEC heading off against the, the CFTC, and in fact, there is this tweet from Fox Business journalist Alan Return, and she wrote yesterday, according to sources familiar, the CFTC lawsuit was dropped on Binance without warning, similar to Coinbase's Wells notice. Some industry professionals believe this was a political move by the CFTC to show the, the SEC that this is a commodities issue rather than a securities one. They also say Vegas odds have the SEC pushing out a similar lawsuit against Binance as a counter. So there you go. <laughs> You're basically having government agencies acting like petulant children fighting against one another. Good times, good times. Yeah, you sued them. I'm going to sue them double back just because, yeah. <laughs> Jurisdictional land grab, everybody. Oh, how stupid is this? And, and look, I don't care if cryptocurrencies are ultimately designated as commodities. As long as they're not declared securities, I just don't give a damn. I just, I don't care. It's, it's much better to have them called commodities uh, you know, than, than it, it's certainly being called you know, securities themselves. But I also wouldn't be against if you just come up with an entirely new classification. I don't care. However, it needs to get sorted out. That's fine. But it's very obvious that the <laughs> the assets themselves are not securities. Couldn't be more obvious. Uh, and by the way, there's also this as far as a, a secondary reason that we may have seen Flare absolutely jump 
and what an incredible jump it has been uh, for Flare. But uh, look at the selling from the crypto basis, uh, crypto basic. The XRP ledger based Bitcoin uh, spending solution reveals Flare network integration plans. Spin the Bits, a popular XRP ledger based Bitcoin spending solution, has started tests for a planned integration with Flare networks. Uh, the company revealed in a tweet yesterday, quote, we're happy to share that we've officially initiated the proof of concept for integrating the Spin the Bits app with Flare Networks, end quote. Um, and so I haven't seen all the specifics exactly how that's going to look and what the ramifications are, but that's certainly very positive news. And as soon as I learn more about it, I'll be happy to share it with you. But um, the piece uh, also reads, the team revealed that the application would offer a more secure, transparent, and efficient Bitcoin payment solution through this integration. Uh, with more details to come, Spin the Bits estimates that it will roll out the first version of this Flare-supported solution for public use by the end of April. So again, I don't know the specifics, looking forward to seeing what exa exactly that means, but it is a good time uh, to, to be uh, an XRP holder. And I know we're talking about Flare specifically here, but Spin the Bits, again, that utilizes the XRP ledger, and a substantial portion of the XRP community does hold Flare, myself included. So... You know, like, I just don't get scared by the scary sound and stuff like what happened yesterday with the CFTC, that lawsuit and everything. And, you know, we'll see if it has teeth or not. But it's, it's, you know, it's not like I'm afraid that Binance is going to cease to exist or something like that. But uh, let me know what you think. I'll go ahead and wrap up here. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because if anything I say are right, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.